What is going on, GW Faction? My name is Joshua Williamson. Welcome back to my favorite game of all time, Slide 2 Band of Thieves, where we last left off. First of all, we have a list of them. So, John B. San just said that. Where we last left off, we, we Murray got captured again by Carmelita, but we ended up freeing him right away. <coughs> we did one of the most fun missions in the game, Spice in the Sky, but now it's time to, to rob the first Iron Horse train. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by <coughs> any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Yeah, it's coming by you, Bentley. Oh, by the way, I forgot to... The hover pack. I gotta equip a button on it. Anyways, get on that train's caboose. Yeah, that's the hover pack right there. Very handy... Gadget for Bentley. <coughs> Alright. We're about to seal the first clockwork part that Jambi Sun has. And yes, I'm wearing a different pair of headphones. The other one I had, they're years old, okay? Those headphones that I wore for the longest time, they're years old. And, you know, the, the cable was was tearing up on it, and they just don't really work anymore, so I gotta throw them away. They were a good pair. But... They say diamonds last forever, but not all pairs of headphones are diamonds. Just sleep dart all those guards. Don't even killing all of them. I don't think so. Go to sleep. <clears throat> Alright. Here's a little trick that you can do. Use a sleep dart on that big guard. One of those little ones walk by. <laughs> Alright. Let's bomb that guard. I didn't jump in time. Let's hover pack up there. Now, if it didn't have that, I'd, I'd have to do the sneaking thing on the side of it, but got the hover pack. Let's drop a couple bombs here. Alright, there's the clockwork log. The first of it, that is. Yep, that's right. I can also hear myself too well with these headphones connected to my microphone. I can hear myself too well. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Basson's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. Yeah, I know. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, <coughs> you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby ham car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But yeah. don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guard. <laughs> yeah. That mission's fun, but we're going to get to it later. Alright, another mission for Ben Lee. It's called Aerial Assault. This, this uh, mission is probably the hardest mission in this episode. It's not the hardest mission in the whole game, but the hardest mission in this episode. Okay, why did that guard move over that way after I shot it with... with the sleep dart. Alright. Anyways, let's continue going over there. Hmm. 
Here we are. Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll Let's do it. Job done. Provided I can catch up with that train. Yeah, so we actually have to chase after the train this time to get on the caboose. We'll not chase after, but run towards it before it passes by. Hover pack comes in handy. Here we are inside of Iron Horse number two. But we're not stealing the lung yet. <clears throat> this had better work. Slime won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bombs and the square button shoots forward. Alright. Yep, so we can shoot forward with the, with the RC chopper now. Yeah, this mission is pretty tricky. doesn't matter, it won't come back. Then again, with experience, even though this is a hard mission, I can I can pass by it. Doing a lot of experience with the game. I think this is the last part. This is it. Yep, it the is. Final yep. Four of those shooty planes, well, choppers rather. And those things down at the bottom. There we go. Yes, he does. We gotta go back to the safe house because the next two missions are not for Bentley. Yeah, you can't detect me with my hover pack. And by the way, maybe at some point in the future I'll show you guys some really cool glitches that you can do in this game. After I'm done doing my playthrough on this, that is. Alright, but anyways, the next mission for Sly. This time, theft on the rails. This time we actually go and steal that other clockwork lung. See, Sly couldn't get in there because of the aerial defenses. And I got glitched up there for a second. No matter, I can, I can escape. Dang it! Yeah, the, 
gameplay is a bit out of sync, but I don't have time to fix that right now. Yeah. All I gotta do is hook onto that. Gosh dang it, gosh dang it. I want his loot. I'm not gonna bother with the other one. John Bisson. That guard got glitch stuck. Great, I'm probably gonna die here. Yep, I died. Yep, if that guard didn't get glitch stuck, I wouldn't have died like that. And I gotta start all the way back from the gosh day beginning! I'm not gonna bother with fighting the guards. I'm just gonna run. And use smoke bombs. Screw it, I don't care. Yeah, I heard you say that already, Jean Bisson. Gar got glitch stuck again. You boys have done some real good work lately, and I hate to have to put you out on disability. That's it. Keep your axes sharp. No, that's the only ability I have. Yep, I'm screwed again. Yep. Life is an incel. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Normally I'd edit this out, but I'm not interested in doing that right now. I can't be bothered. I'm gonna hear him say that for the third time, okay. That 
was close. Alright, there's the log. Alright, one more mission to do for this set. I think I'll actually complete the episode in this video. <clears throat> I'll take a ride on the train over to the safe house. Why not? A little further and jump. It's for Murray. Like I said, this is a fun mission coming up. It's a uh, bear cub kidnapping. It's a fun mission. I pressed L1. Why did you do the gosh dang turbuckle launch? That's what I commanded of you. It's up there on that train track. Up there. If you'll stay on the track, that is. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. Yeah, you can't do it, Murray. Yeah. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youth. Yes. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, Cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Okay, so that kind of doesn't make sense that that fence is too strong for Bentley's bombs or Murray's muscle to handle, but a bear? I'm pretty sure a bomb is stronger than a bear. And about, you know bear and hippo strength. I don't know which one is stronger between a bear and a hippo. I don't know who would win in a fight, but... Alright, let's 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 throw this bear cub over in that fence. Find the other one. Oh, screw everything. Yeah, there's where it is, in a bear cave. Sorry to say it, but the other cub is somewhere in this bear cave. Be careful, Murray. Yeah, there's an there's an adult bear right there. I have to make sure I don't get caught by it. Alright. Let's run out of here. Good thing I have the Atlas Strength. So I don't have to worry about, you know, just walking the whole time and not being able to jump. Throw it in there. Watch them fight. How is that bear stronger than Bentley's bombs? Nature documentaries are way more violent than a bear smashing a fence like that. Bentley. Okay, guys, this is Operation it. Choo Choo. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, 
So we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new handcart. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook trade robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? Well, some things can go wrong. But you said that a lot, a lot about some other operations you planned out, Bentley, so... Alright, but anyways... Uh, we gotta do Operation Choo Choo now, and it's just over there. Collect the coins, why not? <sighs> Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. <laughs> yeah. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with his stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speed. Yeah, exactly. It's time for a train robbery. Still the stomach, Sly. Gosh, I'm yawning a lot. Let me walk across that. Wait for it to go back down. There we go. Cla crawl through there. I said climb almost. There's Jean Bisson. That there clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse trains. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I'd kill him like a smart enough. I sure Well, you're not going to, Zombie Son. And how do you not see Sly outside of the window like that? <sighs> <sighs> There's Neela. Hey Koopa, Vaughn might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. <laughs> if you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No, thanks, yeah, Caleb. not I've doing that. Already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? <sighs> I've already lost the RC chopper. She won't know what hit. Come on, Koopa. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of all right, let's shoot down Neela's ride. Almost there, but also got to avoid dying at the same time. I can't fully see the health bar, so I don't know how much longer I can hold out. <sighs> Great. Let me move my head down a little bit, just so I can see my health bar better. There we go. Screw 
Screw you and your missiles, Neela. Cry later, Bentley. There we go. Screw off, Neela. Some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Let's get to your glory after the clock was sunk. Well, you were right when the Murray strength knew no limit. You're about to break the cart. There's guards in there, but I don't have to worry about them. So I'm not going to be going in there anyways. Not able. I'm not able to. Okay, for some reason, I decided to stop there and look. You're an idiot. I'm gonna get some coins out of these barrels. the stomach. Gotta shoot down Neela's right again, because she won't give up. This time it does get a bit more difficult. As you can see, I'm almost dead already. Now she goes down. Now I gotta drop bombs on her. <laughs> That's what she said. Those things are hard to avoid. No matter, I can still do it. And those planes on top of it. Not wrong, Bentley. This is a catastrophe so far. Can you drop, continue dropping bombs on her. I was so close. Those gosh dang stupid RC planes. I'd like to take them and shove them up Neela's front hole. There. There we go. 
I just did. Now go away. <clears throat> All right. All right, got clockwork stomach. I've got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. <laughs> Alright, job completed. Episode completed now, that is. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. You should be. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, yeah. the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's Man. a big part of why this is all fun. He loves Sooner her so later, much. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Yeah. We'll worry about that later. Okay, well, I'm gonna end it here for now. The next episode coming up is actually my favorite episode in the game. Uh, but in the meantime, post some below below and let me know what your opinion is on this. If you like to see a thumb up, hey, see you thumb down. On social media, my backup channel in the description box. And be sure, be sure to click subscribe and become a member of the JW faction on the jury of 10,000 subscribers. God loves you. See you later.